Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is Caesar tutorials of pl on plotting using Matplotlib in Python. Now in the last tutorial we saw this example wherein we had two different curves. We had two different curves of different uh, same x-axis magnitudes but different y-axis magnitudes or ranges and as a consequence the plots were squished up when we, do when we tried to plot them by superimposition. So when we, we actually rem mimicked the axis to axis, I mean we replicated the axis and make to make sure that uh, make sure that they both of them have uh, independent y, y axis and the sa same y x axis and we plotted the figures so we play figures okay and we also made sure that uh, we were able to make it fancier by adding grids labels colors and colors and title and so on and so forth now what we're going to do is that we're going to do the uh, i mean the, the symmetrically the opposite example wherein we have figures who we have figures for which the y axis is same but they have different x axis although this kind of plots are you know not that common it it can occur once in a while so we have to re look at that scenario over in this video so i have a program over here which i have written this is a slight modification of this previous program okay so let's walk you guys through so if we have some plots wherein the y axis is same y axis is same but the, the x axis has different ranges then you can use this pro this program over here so I'm just using the same value, same thing over here, okay, similar values, I'm just, cal I'm just calculating y, calculating y and I'm using, uh, I mean I'm just calculating sine, sine of y, you are storing it in x1 and sine h of y, the hyperbolic sine of y and storing it in x2 and then what I'm doing is, <coughs> as usual I'm splitting the object, I mean figure object as well as the plot, I mean axis object using, using this, using this line and here instead of replicating that x axis i'm replicating the y axis thereby these two axes ex1 and ex2 will have the same y axis but different x axis okay so i've written it in the comments over here they have the common y axis and different x axis and now i'm just plotting the these two curve these two curves use and getting the curve handles out of it okay i'm plotting x1 uh, x1 uh, and then with respect to y and x2 with respect to y thereby the angles uh, the angles or the values of x values of these will be along, will be along different will be along uh, different x axis whereas the i mean the angles will be along the y axis whereas the magnitudes of these curves will be along the different x axis and i just use as usual i get the curves curves angles and put them in a uh, list so that i can use in the legends and here just as in the previous case we used to, uh, we used two legends we can use the legends and put, put them up either i can use ax2 or ax1 or independently i can use either one of them so i'm just using this one and uh, i'm using this nesting option over here to make it better mm, not the uh, generator option over here to make it better and then since there are like two x labels so two x axis over here we need two separate x labels so we're using both ax1 and ax2 set the x labels and here I'm using the Y label option to set up the Y label value and using AX1. I can use AX2 as well, but but as usual, AX2 did not work. During the, as per the pre, just like what we had in the previous program, AX2 did not work. So <coughs> this, I'm just mentioning it up over here. Similarly, uh, if I want to make ticks along, ticks along Y axis, I have to use AX1. AX2 did not work either. So here I'm setting up the X, X, Y label, I mean label for Y axis. And here I'm setting the ticks for the y-axis, okay. And here I'm setting up the ticks for the x-axis. Since there are two separate x-axis, we need, can use both the x1 and the x2 to, to do that. So this will set the ticks, and then this will set up the tick breaks, tick breaks, and they're along x and uh, both the x-axis. And this will set up the ticks and uh, tick uh, tick breaks along the y-axis, okay. As usual, I mean, the, but surprisingly, this will work uh, even if I use AX1 or AX2. Both of, both of them will work, so you can use either one of them. And then, and finally, let's adding a grid to it. And the grid to it is adding grid to it is actually easier, just like the previous case. So if I want to add a grid, I can use AX1. Okay. Uh, if I want to make a grid using AX1, I just have to use this line over here, and I can give any color as I want. Now, if I run this. This is how the plot turns out to be, okay? Now, uh, this grid over here is corresponding to the colors of AX, I mean axis one, AX, AX one, so you have the grids in red color, okay? Now, if you look at it, this plot is perfect. 
Now the magnitudes about x axis magnitudes of these curves are along different y axis whereas the angles or value to about values are along uh, y axis so this is perfect this is going to be perfect and you have the le legends uh, legends as well placed neatly so they have a title yeah i know the title is actually ma ma messed up i mean it's actually imposed on the label but don't worry we'll figure we'll figure out a way to fix this in another tutorial so this is not a big deal so we did, uh, and we had everything in this title in this plot we want. We can actually go and print it if we print it, print this if you want. Okay, we're all done with that. Okay, and now if you want a uh, different grids, let's say you have to use this option over here. I plot I plot I plot it with the axis one grids and I plot the axis two grids and then what I do I just have to disable. Uh, I mean the x-axis gridding, x-axis gridding for a x one and if I do that. And if I do that, I will get a plot like I will get a plot like this. Perfect. Now, in this way, I have an option to uh, do grids, and I can actually if I if I just change the values of the grids, I mean value values uh, on the x range, I mean x ranges accordingly, I can make sure that the grids are uh, evenly evenly spaced for both the both these values. So that's not a big deal. Okay. Now this is actually an example for plotting uh, figures which have different y-axis, I mean uh, same y-axis but different x-axis. This kind of example comes rarely, but but still, uh, this is this can be equally uh, pestering if you want if you do not know how to proceed with. So there, so there you go. That's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.